Hey guys, uh, this is Greg with uh, North 49 TV, back in my garage again. Uh, we're gonna do some stuff uh, today, and hopefully it was it will be worth the uh, the trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So we're gonna change the ABS ring on the, on the Teneri uh, 700 here, Caroline's Teneri, uh, just to have a match between uh, what's happening here and what's gonna happen on the on the GPS and uh, we'll test that uh, later once we're finished we'll go on the road test and see if it's worth the trouble all right let's go Caroline did it again <laughs> she did not break anything but she decided to add one more thing to uh, to her bike and uh, that's gonna be not on this side it's gonna be on this side. According to the internet, uh, if you change the uh, ABS ring, you can get a better reading on uh, a better uh, actual accurate reading for your speed on your itinerary. So we got some rings from uh, Germany and we're gonna be installing that today. And, uh, and voila, see you in a minute. A few moments later. So they are held by uh, some uh, Torx head uh, screws and it was tight in there, so tight that I stripped the head and I'm gonna have to use the Dremel uh, to remove it. The best one I could find was a uh, T20 uh, and uh, I got most of them except one but which is a little bit annoying so I have to work on that um, right now. I got it! <laughs> broke it but I got it! had to remove the uh, the disc just to get a better uh, grip on this tiny screw that was tight in there so hard so now we can get moving I have to go to Yamaha on Tuesday to get one of these but uh, should be good from now all right now we gotta put everything back together with the specs and see uh, how it goes all right so we are all back except for the one that I broke here no big deal I'll get one on Tuesday like I said uh, torque to 5.5 Newton meter according to the instruction that came with the uh, the new ring here. It's an M5. So they wanted 5.5 plus some Loctite. So uh, a little bit of blue Loctite 5.5 Newton meter and now we are gonna grease everything and put the front wheel back and do the same at the rear. More moments later. All right, so we have to do the same thing at the rear. This time I did not break <laughs> the uh, little screws, so it went pretty well. Uh, and this is the new ring. And uh, because you have to do front and rear, so it matches uh, for the computer, you know, to understand what's going on. And voila, I'll do that, put the wheel back, and uh, I'll go for a test ride this afternoon and, and see uh, if uh, it matches the GPS. Several bad puns later. Alright, well, there we are. Uh, my speed on GPS is gonna be there, so it's supposed to be, you know, quite accurate. And uh, my speed on the other one should be here, and see uh, how much we we get different. Uh, yeah, it's about a one-ish kilometer an hour difference. We could be due to the uh, the new tire. Also, we put a fresh tire on it, it's like it's brand new uh, Shinko tire. So, you know, it's much better than what it used to be. Right? It used to be like five to seven kilometer difference. So, uh, definitely an improvement, I would say. Yeah, 44 and got 43 times. I'm gonna turn here. It's a better. Yeah. Woo! Cross. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. F yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. So there you have it, guys. Uh, not sponsored. Not a mechanic. Um, I did the job myself with the tools I had. Uh, I will link in the description the parts 
and uh, so if you want also to have like a more accurate uh, speedo reading which also gonna influence also your uh, your mileage so what happened before is because it was off the bike showed more kilometers than it was actually doing which is annoying because the last thing you want is add more kilometers to your bike for no reason so there it is hope you uh, enjoy this video as usual subscribe don't subscribe you do whatever you want enjoy your ride enjoy life you know do what do what you want and uh, i will uh, catch you on the next one